I am about to go meet a friend for coffee, but I thought I would start out the vlog. I want to continue to, to vlog. I didn't get my stuff put away yesterday, so I'm gonna get that put away today when I get home. And I'm just putting my jewelry on. I'm just putting my everyday. I've had these for years. Zach and I got these when we were in Bend probably like 12 years ago though. My wedding ring. I have my Amazon hoops on today, and then I'm gonna wear my vacation. So good, perfume. I like to kind of like drench myself in that one. Mm, it smells so good. Anyway, so today I'm gonna go have coffee, come home, tidy up. I have to put all of my stuff away from Amazon. And then I got some stuff from H&M. So I'll show you guys what I got from H&M. I mentioned this in the Amazon haul, but I'm gonna refresh each space just to kind of give it a little bit more life and a little bit of a uplifting feel for me. So one thing in our bedroom, you guys always see this bedside table in the back of my videos. So this little three drawer dresser I shared in a antique shop with me haul, I believe. I stripped it, I haven't sanded it yet, so I need to get back to that and kind of, it's a little bit sus, like I need to glue it up and I do wanna sand it and see if it makes it a little bit more of that like beautiful soft wood look. I don't think it's pine and I think pine really does well with that kind of like, you know, like the raw wood look. So anyway, so I'm gonna kind of start on that again and then on the other side of the bed, and a lot of you ask where the mirror is that Zach inherited from his family. It's just on the other side of the bed. I might bring it back over here, but on the other side of the bed, let me just show you. <laughs> It's a little bit, okay, it's a, we've been neglecting the bedroom. So I'll tell you guys what I'm planning on doing for the bedroom is I love our rug so much. I love it. I I really scored with this. I got this from Home Goods probably like six years ago. I love it. Now it's a wool rug. The thing about wool, sorry, I'm all over the place this morning, but the thing about wool is you don't really want to put it in a high traffic area because when it gets dirty, it's extremely hard to clean. So it's a little bit dirty, but I love this rug. So I'm, I'm debating if I want to replace the rug, but okay, let me show you the other side of the bed. Let me show you the rug. Let me show you the whole thing. Our bedroom right now is like very scaled back. I took off pillows off the bed, kind of, I just like did the whole thing. And then here's the rug. As you can see, it's kind of speckly and it needs vacuumed, but I love the rug. I love the rug so much, but I do think it probably needs to be replaced. Maybe it's just getting a little bit old and dirty and this is obviously a high traffic area, but for the bed, I was thinking about actually ripping off the fabric and the foam and kind of DIYing my own bed with this headboard. I don't know how much of a big undertaking that'll be, but I'm really, really thinking about it. I was thinking I would just go ahead and maybe like, get rid of this and buy a new one but then the more that I think about it I think I could really do it so I may do that and then as you can see over here we have our if you've been around for a while this is the same dresser I have another one out in the living room area that I had over here, but I've only swapped out this one because I'm still looking for one to match that one. And I have the glass one over here, which I do want to get rid of eventually, but I'm thinking this space of our bedroom, I might turn into a small, small little art corner where I have an easel right here. I can paint. There's really good light that comes in here in the morning, especially, and just create a little space in here. So that's kind of what I have. These blinds can't go anywhere. Where there's just no way we have to store them and we have no room so I hate them but it is what it is <laughs> so anyway yeah so that's my plan I do still need a dresser over here because we have things that need to go into a dresser so I'm looking for one to match this one here and I feel like for the bed I do love this one but I want something a little bit more like more white and like a different fabric maybe a little bit more linen or chenille or something that's a little bit more luxurious that I can do more bedding options with because I feel like our bed I don't like a lot of tones mixed with like this oak kind of color other than white which I'm sure there's other tones I just don't like vibe with them that much so that's my plan plans for the bedroom. First things first is I kind of want to like create that little art space over there. Then I might think about the bed and then the rug is like 
if I find one, I might replace it, I might not type of situation. But the whole bed, I actually plan on just like rewrapping it with new fabric and then reworking the headboards. Could be a terrible idea, but I'm gonna take you guys along. That's kind of the ideas for the bedroom. Like I said, the bedroom is like very neglected. I have two different dressers going on in here. I mean, anyway, I wanted to update you guys on that because I have a lot of fun ideas for the space and i feel like now that we know we're gonna be here for a little bit longer i am embracing those ideas and just kind of going for it oh also <laughs> this is a very long intro i'm so sorry but i tried the new if my makeup looks different i tried that skin tint i was showing you guys yesterday i am wearing it today i figured i would just go ahead and try it out i am not one to switch up my routine at all i have been wearing the same foundation for at least a decade. I mean, I don't switch things up very often, but I wanted something just a little bit lighter and that you could see my skin a little bit more. I struggled with acne. I have a little bit of acne scarring. I have a little spot right here too. I always wanted full coverage, but I feel like this skin tint is really nice. I feel like it looks really, really good. I don't know. I'm going to try it out today and see how it wears. I did notice I'm getting some transfer, so I need to go put some powder on my eyelids. But other than that, I feel like it looks really, really nice. I'm also wearing the e.l.f. sunscreen again. I like it. I, I didn't notice being too oily or anything from the sunscreen yesterday, and I wore my longtime favorite foundation yesterday, so I'll keep you guys updated today. We'll see how this wears and see if we like it, but I feel like so far, I'm like, wait a minute. I kind of like it, but you can see a little bit more. Like, I have a little sunspot right here, and that kind of was coming up, and then some of my scarring you can slightly see, and you can see my freckles. So anyway, that's the makeup. That's the plans for the bedroom. I'm gonna get things put away. We're gonna hang out in this vlog. Again, sorry about the dishwasher, but I wanted to film this before I, I head out. I got these apothecary jars from Amazon. I didn't share these in the video because they came after I filmed the video, but they are beautiful. I know Pottery Barn has some of these that are much bigger, but these ones I feel like are perfect. I have the clear ones. I've shared the clear ones with you guys already. Now, Zach actually wants to use these jars for smoothies so I'm gonna empty out my little tide in here and put it in the apothecary jar which I'm fine with because to be honest with you the blue specks are kind of bugging me I know I'm so nitpicky I also I'm gonna put like some headache medicine in here this would be such a pretty little bud vase even the small one you know just set the lids aside but what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put my tide right in this one and then Zach will clean these out and we'll use them for smoothies um, but I am so in love with the with the decanting situation I'm doing right now. I feel like it just makes me so happy and seeing all of the items together, I'll show you guys. I, I'm, I'm just screaming, I feel, it's funny because I feel like back in, in, you know, I'm sure they loved beautiful things just like we do. But I feel like back in the day, a lot of this is probably more of a function thing for them, right? But we're, like today, we're going back like, Oh no, that was so cute. I want that for my house. But also they used really high quality materials and they were just done really well. So even like buying the things nowadays isn't probably as good as it once was. I mean, that's why antiques are, you know, for the most part, such nice quality. But now I have my Tide in here. So much better actually. I like this so so much better i'm gonna order some more amber glasses one of you were saying how bleach probably should go in amber glasses because light can like hurt its effectiveness <laughs> so i'm gonna order some more i need to get on and do that but look at how cute this is i love this and i'll probably label this but like detergent also another thing i'm really excited about was i wasn't in love with like the white lids and the black label i don't know I get really nitpicky, but I think it's important to really achieve your desired look because you're gonna love it for longer, you know what I mean? And I don't think it's a bad thing. can 
also be a makeup check-in. I feel like I am glowing. I don't know if that's a good thing. You can also see my blemish through. So I don't know. I don't know if I love this yet. Anyway, I got some labels on all of my things here. Not all of them, but we're almost getting there. I moved the detergent over into this one. I think I showed you that. I have the stain remover. I actually kind of like separating like i like having the variety and then this one doesn't have anything in it yet and then we have the bleach i need to order this in amber and obviously order a new bottle of bleach but seeing these together it's bringing me so much happiness let me move it over here so i can show you guys oh my gosh i love i love it i don't know it just looks so pretty to me i i just love this vibe that I'm doing. Can you see that better? Hold on. Let me, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Do you see how cute that is? I love it. I really do love these small things that just kind of make your space feel what you're going for. You know what I mean? Like all these little things, like when you start getting things in your home that you have been looking for or that you love or it's the vibe you want and you find that perfect piece, you totally get what I'm saying. So even just doing these minor little things, I love it. So what I've been doing is I clean off the bottle first, which is some glass cleaner, and then I make my label i put it over top and then i clean it again just making sure there's no fingerprints or anything under them and then also what's really nice with the label maker is you can just tear it off so say you no longer buy that cleaner or you're no longer using that cleaner you can just tear it off and make a new label and these glass jars are going to last you forever <laughs> anyway i love the look i think it's so cute We are home from the gym. We left and went to the gym. I don't know if I updated you guys. We're home. I feel sweaty, but I was like, okay, I need to get things finished. I need to order this thing, Gilsey. <laughs> if you guys have been watching the videos, um, you know how much that just like, ugh, I don't like it. But anything that's not pretty, I've been putting in my vintage let me show you. I think you already know this, but anything that hasn't been pretty goes in this box. And then as we use them, they end up coming out, but then I, I end up putting them back in here. I also need to figure out something for this because I like that this is the, you just squeeze it and it squeezes out. So I'll put it, it's gotta stay out for right now because we use that a lot, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're adding things to this space to feel a little bit more pretty and organized. We have the Folex, we have our disinfectant. I also really love that the disinfectant is discolored or like a more of like a light, light, light amber color because it looks really pretty with the amber bottles. And then multi-purpose will go down here. We're getting there. We have some more work to do, but we're getting there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my scrub daddies away. Like I said, I stocked up, so I got four new scrub daddies and I'm gonna put them, I have this little wire basket that I shared with you guys in a video. I'm gonna put them in here, take these out. Also, one of you left a comment saying, if you go on the scrub daddy's website, they will give you a label to send these back to them to recycle them. So that's super cool. I'm absolutely going to be doing that. They're dishwasher safe. I don't know if I ever said that, but we put ours in the dishwasher as well, just to kind of clean them in between times before they get like super dingy. You can't even see what I'm doing. Perfect. I'm gonna put my very favorite cleaning cloths in here. I'll just stuff them in the side right here because that's when I would grab the cleaning. This cleaning detergent is, I would grab these to use this in here. Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. I got these all washed. These are the covers for <laughs> bowls. They're all washed so you can kind of see how they look after being washed in the washing machine. The elasticity still is really nice. I was actually a little bit wondering about these ones. They look good. So I'm gonna get these put away. Down here, I'm gonna show you. It's actually, it really needs organized. In fact, so much of our home needs organized. This I need to go through and kind of organize. 
Okay, not perfect, but better than it was. So what I ended up doing is putting the lids in the back because I could reach back and kind of grab those a little bit easier than, you know, having these stacked on top of each other, having to pull out everything to get down to the bottom of this. It's like a simpler process. I mean, not too bad. These are not perfect, but it's better than it was. I mean, it was pretty messy down here. So these are like more of our everyday. I use these a ton. Um, same with all of this. Much better. Is it perfect? No. This like kind of being set in there, maybe that'll fit in there better. I think that's not too bad. I feel like it's like a little bit more, at least it looks better. The functionality, we'll have to see the more that we use it, but for now that's good. And then down here, I wanna get, Amazon has a uh, like wood thing that you can put this stuff in. I'll put a picture on the screen. I'm gonna get that ordered and then that'll kind of clean up this <laughs> portion right here, but not too bad. Now, <laughs> I just got some um, H&M stuff in, so I thought I would open it up here on the vlog. I've got this watering glow. Oh, is it broken? Oh no, it's okay. I have one in our plant right now, but this one was, it looked really pretty. It looked like it had some ribbing. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. These are actually extremely helpful. I was thinking about putting this one outside of my olive tree, but this will last like a day, probably not even, because it dries out so quickly out there. But maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll go take it out there. I love these. I'll link this down below. If you have indoor plants, these are awesome because they pretty much water the plant slowly. So as it dries out, this will kind of water the plant, but it won't water it if the soil is moist because I don't know the science behind it, but it won't water it unless it starts drying out. This one's glass. Look at how beautiful that ribbed is. I want to get some more of these. I almost bought two and then I was like, let me see how it is. Now I feel like I need more. This is so pretty. The one that I currently have is like super <laughs> gross. It's just dirty from the soil, but it's just like this kind of like pale blue or like green. I got this one from Target years ago. So we've had this plant for as long as we've lived here. I also have this moisture meter in there just to kind of watch it because I will over water plants and then before you know it, they're dead. But having these watering globes, I feel like has been a game changer. So let's put this one outside. So you do a tiny little stream like that and you just fill it up like so. And then it'll just take the water that it needs. I also may just go ahead and water it anyway because it's kind of dry. So let's just go ahead and water it. So normally I wouldn't water this, but it needs watered anyway. And then less water will be taken out of that globe and the globe will empty out. I love this little watering can. I have a big one, but it's like more annoying to fill up. This one's perfect for my smaller plants, like my olive tree out here, and then our plant inside. We have a couple plants inside. So this thing has been really cool to have. So then now as this dries out, the globe will water the plant. And then when I see that the globe is empty, you know, I can refill it and then, and then kind of know it's time to maybe water. <laughs> it's doing okay. It kind of got unhappy for a minute. Now it's totally doing fine. My citrus trees are doing amazing. They are super happy. This one down here just started to grow, which is super exciting because this one hasn't been doing that great. I think the pot is too small. So I'm going to replant this one in another pot that I have. It's doing all right. Got new bath mats. I swear I have purchased probably five different bath mats for the bathroom. Our apartment gets super dusty. We live in the desert. It gets super dusty. So we need bath mats that can be washed. So recently, Recently, I got some from Zara Home, which I loved, but I wanted them to be more black and they're more gray. So they're just, they're not working out, but I was on H&M Home and I saw these ones and I was like, wait, I kind of like this. Oh, did I only get one? I ordered two. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to write them. There's only one in here. Dang it. It's kind of grippy on the bottom. That's really nice. It's like kind of rubbery on the bottom, but you can't see the rubber at all. Okay, wait a minute. These are nice. Dang it, I can't believe they only sent one. I got this one because I liked the fringe on the ends. I liked the super textured look. As I mentioned, I'm kind of revamping each 
space. I need to check my order. That is so weird that I didn't get to. And it's like a pretty good size for a bathroom mat. So that's really cool. I'll link all of this down below for you guys as well. I wanted something a little bit more serene. Okay, so the next two items I got for this little coffee table that I made for a back patio. So I shared the stripe tablecloth with you guys in our little patio makeover video and it fits this coffee table perfect. Like I like that it's overhangs a lot. So I love that. I got the stripe and then I got the like really close up stripe or like close stripe napkins. I love this set and I like them together. I just think it's so pretty but when I originally went to go get a tablecloth this is the one that I wanted which is the check I just I love it I think it's super timeless in fact I love both of them so this one came back in stock I got this in the size 55 by 71 and it fits this little table perfectly for my taste so it goes on either side and front and back like pretty much just barely brushes the floor and then the napkins are just a smaller little check i could put these two together i could put the check with the stripe i could put the thin stripe with the check so i love it i think that it's gonna be fun to have different options i also have like a plain linen one that i got from amazon and i have a few different ones i have another like thicker one from amazon that i can use out here so i'm kind of building my table linen collection <laughs> that is going to conclude this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed a little bit of me like putting things away and kind of going over things a little bit more i just felt like vlogging a little bit and showing you guys a little bit more like after the videos i'm gonna probably pick up this vlog pretty quickly so that i can you know get another video out for you guys let me know if you like this style of video where i can show you guys things a little bit more casually i really love doing vlogs because it really is my personality i am way more of a casual person Person. so doing like sit down kind of educational style videos isn't like totally my personality I do like a little bit of a mix so I will continue to do those anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I appreciate you guys so much especially the ones that watch the vlogs because I feel like I can truly just share so much more with the vlog so I appreciate you if you're here watching yeah I will see you guys in a couple days with another video Bye. I would say we were good together.